Hello and welcome to another episode of The Engineer. Today we're going to be looking at a 67 to 1 game on road transmission where I use the tank as my primary vehicle and we're going to be playing Conquest Large, a thousand tickets. Our team does very well throughout the course of the game, a couple of tips and tricks along the way and I'm using my usual loadout of AP, HMG, thermal optics, thermal camo and APS. Throughout the whole of this episode you're going to see a couple of little things that you could maybe implement into your own game, a couple of ways of taking on more than one tank and also some fairly decent accuracy with the HMG. I thought in this game I was a lot more accurate than I usually am. In this position where I am right now pushing onto Delta, especially on Conquest Large, it's not a great idea to push straight onto the flag. And the reason for this is, is you're going to find a lot of enemies hiding off the burn of the flag, possibly down off the bottom of the hill, especially if they've got Bravo capped or I think it's Charlie capped on Conquest Large, which is under the dish. I spot a sniper over on the side that the AA gun's trying to take down, so I just decide to road kill him for the fun of it. Once again, push onto Delta because I can see that enemies are still pushing up from underneath the dish. It is, is my plan to go down there, but first of all, I want to make sure that I've got rid of all of the snipers and pretty much all the spawn points up on Charlie first, because the last thing I want to do is push down under the dish and then find Charlie and Echo getting capped behind me, because then I'll get pinched. Now, this is so horrible when you're playing on this game, especially on road transmission, when Echo, your gimme flag, the flag that all your infantry should be pushing towards, is um, not being capped by your team and it is just being constantly sort of switched between the two teams and there are people on the roof and there's just really no way of you in a tank actually getting to them and taking them down. So that's why I was sort of stuck between um, going down towards Charlie or staying up at Echo. Luckily enough, that LAV did go down and do most of the hard work for me. So I managed to uh, go down, take them out, and that makes Echo a lot easier to keep hold of when you only have to worry about them coming from the air. They're not going to come from the ground because there's nowhere for them to spawn down there. What I like to do once I've captured Delta as well is push straight up towards a Bravo flag. There's not really too much of a need to go all the way to Alpha unless, you know, their team's that bad that they're getting spawn camped. As I hit a nice shot on that helicopter through the, the flag there stopping him from getting over probably towards our gimme flag over at Echo. But I pick up this position over here on the, the right hand side and then use this LAV which is kind of bad but I use that LAV as cover as I've already used my APS and uh, that LAV between us we managed to take it down. Once again spotting that tank in the distance he's popped his APS as well so I don't get a hit then. But that's what I like to do anyway I like to make sure that I can spot enemies in the distance using that road on the right hand side. We skip forward quite a distance into the game now as I'm back up on Delta doing what I usually say that I usually do, sit back, make sure I pick off any enemies and then push forward, make sure that I take down anyone who's hiding behind crates like that guy. Take a shot at the transport helicopter, don't manage to take him down, but that's something to bear in mind as well. When you see a transport helicopter in the air and you're in a tank, have a go at it, but don't just sit there trying to shoot him down because it's really not worth it. Maybe have a couple of goes with uh, your HMG, one or two shots with the AP shell. Um, but that's about it. The longer you're stationary, the more chance a jet's going to get you or you're going to get shot down. This is the beauty of thermal camo. I've managed to push all the way up here without any of those tanks in the distance noticing me so I can just get the first shot on one. He's lucky enough just to go straight down and then I can shoot the other one who does pop his APS. Uh, but I've managed to get myself the jump on the enemy armour and one jumps out to repair his tank and he just takes an AP shell straight to the face. So. Thermal camo, definitely worth trying out if you haven't already. I really didn't realise how good it was until I recently started using it. But um, it gives you the jump on enemy tanks so often and it's just ridiculously useful. Now this is a difficult position. I'm the only person on Delta right now. So what I do is I sit on the edge of the flag. I'm not really too bothered about the enemy spawning there because they do already have the flag. So all I'm going to do is put myself in a lot of jeopardy if I sit on the flag and I'm not actually burning it. I spot that guy behind the fence. That is a very common spot for people to hide. So if you see anyone behind there, always shoot the fence. Or if you suspect someone, always shoot the fence. You find yourself getting a lot of kills that way. I hope you guys did enjoy this streak. It wasn't really all in one go. It was kind of two, but it was a very nice game and very good flag capping throughout as the other team were really suppressing us back. And it took a lot of work and a lot of tactics to make us win the game. So I hope you guys did enjoy. Leave a like if you did, and I'll catch you in the next video.